What is going on, Arkansas Razorback fans and SEC fans everywhere? Uh, this is, of course, the Pig Trail Network. I am Tizel83, and I want to thank you so much for stopping by and taking a little bit of time out of your day to, to check out the video. We, we've, got, we've got a couple things I could talk about. We're going to circle around one topic, one thing this, in this video. And it all started, I don't, I don't know how long ago this has been. I, it was before the NFL draft, and Brooks Ellis stopped by Bo Mattingly's studio while he was on air, and they had a they had a pretty interesting conversation. People didn't play as well as they could have played. They didn't play up to their pot potential. Um, and, I mean, we had a lot of good guys that could play defense and could play really well, and they just didn't play up to their potential. And then guys weren't buying into the system. They weren't um, – they just weren't locked in. I – you know, yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of things that go into it, but that's that. Those are the main things that stick out to me. What, were you surprised? It's really annoying. I mean, like your senior year, you wanted to go as well as possible, and it didn't. And nobody was doing as well as they could have. And we knew we could have been good, and it just didn't happen. And I, I mean, a lot of things go into it. I don't. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Well, when you get seniors, I guess you can have guys. Ending up on their own agendas, right? Yeah, they're they're not playing as hard as they can. Yeah, when you need them, and it's, I mean, especially the last two games when we played a great first half and then gave up in the second half. I mean, the guys weren't doing what they've been doing all week in practice, what they've been doing all year, and it's, I mean, it's frustrating as a player, but especially as a coach, like, what are you supposed to do when when guys aren't playing? When you 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 do this in practice and then you don't do it in the game, it's like, how how are you supposed to? Yeah, how, how are you supposed to coach well if nobody's doing what you're supposed? To, they've been doing all this time, so I don't. Again, that clip taken from the uh, sports talk with Bo Mangley from his show. Every, I've watched that clip now probably about seven or eight times, and I come away with the exact same thought every single time. How do you, as a coach, let things get that bad? We knew players not buying in. That's not a – come on. That, that was probably a lot of fans' first um, assumption. Now they're just not buying in. I don't think talent was, that, was a question. Uh, when you talk about guys being able to play at the SEC level, these guys should have been able to play at the SEC level. Uh, you had a lot of experience come back around the front seven this year. I know they had some injuries. Drake Greenlaw wasn't out there, and, and you had to use some new guys at the linebacker position. You had to play some freshmen. You had to rotate guys. But still, you know, it, it's it's not – you have to think for how things – how bad things were in 2016 on defense and how bad they were against the run, it's more than just one thing. It's more than just players not buying in. It's more than just – players not playing up to their full potential, you know, and, and that all falls back on coaching. There's, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You can go as far back as to recruiting if you wanted to. You know, you're recruiting these quote-unquote uncommon men. Well, these uncommon men are getting called out by, by one of your very own. You know, and, and you know, when I say that this was about one topic, one, one particular thing in this video but really we could cut that video up we could talk about several things uh but i think you know brooks ellis just just kind of he was straight up with everybody he was just being straight up and he said look this is what's going on or this is what happened players not buying in obviously makes you want to take another look at coaching at the coaching staff was this a rob smith issue was this a positions coach issue was this just a scheme kind of thing? Was it the play calling from the sidelines? Is it a Brett Bielema issue? Where is it guys being able to play together as a group issue? And that's why I said it's it's more than one thing. Um, it's not just one thing. You could circle a number of things. And again, to me, it all goes back and it all falls back on coaching. And, and maybe Rob Smith was the issue. I feel like this time next year, we're going to know a lot more. Because Rob Smith is out of the picture. 
there are some things we're going to have to consider. You know, new defense. You know, you are you're going to see some new faces in that front seven. You know, different guy calling the plays from the sidelines. Uh, different personnel on the field. So, again, there are some things we're going to have to take under consideration. But I feel like we're still going to have a lot of question, a lot of questions answered, uh, and, and we're going to know a lot more this time next year. That's it for me, guys. I want to say thank you so much for checking the video out. I'm hoping to get as much content out for you guys this week or next week, anyways. I know it's late. That's the end of uh, what is tomorrow, the 26th. So I'm gonna, I'm hoping to get all this, I'm hoping to get this video out by the 26th, by tomorrow night, or or the or tonight, the 25th, one way or the other. But uh, next week, I'm gonna try and push out as much content as I can. We've got preseason magazines coming out from Athlon, Lindy's. Eventually, you'll see Sports Illustrated, some others. And you can bet your rear end we're going to talk about those. So, uh, you know, for all things Arkansas Razorbacks, keep it here on the Pig Trail Network. Again, you guys know what to do at the end here. Like, comment, share the content that you've uh, that you've just watched. And, of course, if you haven't already, feel free to tap the subscribe button down below. Thanks a lot, guys.